We got it in one. <laughs> What's going on, regulars? Coming to you at a very, very late hour uh, for a daily vlog. And I apologize for that, but uh, I kinda, I've kind of i just been caught up with stuff all day and it just really didn't... There wasn't really inter anything interesting to film. And I know that doesn't really matter in a daily vlog, but I also had to charge the camera, so that took a little bit of time. Um, I'll tell you... One thing I just found out that was I'm still reeling about, like this is amazing. Um, if you guys follow Wheezy Waiter, you know he's got his new project, the uh, the secret project that he's been talking up. Uh, first video for that came out today, and it's about origin stories. And he asked for submissions a little while ago, and I made one, and it's featured. It's one of the ones that was chosen as one of their favorites. Uh, so that's very, very exciting to me. Uh, this is my second time in a Wheezy Waiter video because I did a wink for him a couple years ago and he used it. And, you know, I've, I've met him at VidCon and saw him play in uh, Phoenix. Craig is just one of those people that I look up to uh, through because of YouTube and because he does amazing stuff. And just, I'm, I'm just, I'm thrilled that you know, he picked my video. So that's very cool. Uh, I'll put a link down to that in the regular spot. You guys should go check it out. Uh, there's a, there are a number of amazing stories in there. I, I probably am gonna go through and sub to all the people who he did pick because they're really entertaining and I do wanna see more of the stuff they do. I'm gonna, it's probably very dark right now because I'm in I'm bad lighting. Uh, losing my mind. Uh, today is kind of a cleanup day, so uh, you're gonna see me do laundry, but also uh, I'm going to be shooting for my video this week on my main channel link also down in the regular spot uh, Which is gonna involve me as Billy G Blues So I will hopefully set this camera up and you guys will get to see a little bit of behind-the-scenes footage and I'm gonna get started on that So I realized after I edited and uploaded today's vlog, which is yesterday's for you, um, still, all, I'll tell you, the reason I do that is so I keep it straight in my own head. Um, I realized I didn't show off the two pieces of equipment that I was talking about in yesterday's vlog, and I figured I would show them to you now. So first off, we have this. This is an Apple box. It's much smaller than they are typically made, and the reason for that is I wanted something that would work to place this camera on top of my desk because back when I was using the flip cam to make videos, I had a stack of books, this stack of books to be precise, this stack of books was used to put the flip cam on, on the little uh, gorilla pod tripod that I use and I wanted something more permanent so that a I could put those books away or read them and didn't have to worry about finding them again and remembering which books they were and all that fun stuff and also I wanted something a little sturdier that I could use for possibly other things and I just wanted to start getting in the habit of building Apple boxes for that I could use for various film projects so I mentioned it to my dad and told him what I was looking for and he said oh I got that here so he built this last time I was in New Bern uh, just threw it together for me real quick and it's perfect it is it ex it's exactly what I needed and uh, now I have my piece of plywood that I can use to make a more standard size Apple box for other uses so there you go it works out multiple levels because my dad loves woodworking it's one, it's his long-standing hobby like he's built boats he's built uh, cabinets he built actually he built my desk you can see the desk that I currently sit at it, it was one of his first like major projects uh, when he used to back when he and mom first got married as a desk I think he built for her um, but he's built all you know the shelves that you see in my uh, main channel videos like all the shelves where all the DVDs are he built all of those he built um, 
Actually, there's nothing else in here that he built, but he built this bookshelf. Built this bookshelf for me years ago, uh, primarily to hold my comic book boxes. He actually, we got the sizes and So those bottom two sets of shelves, the bottom four there, um, each fit three comic book boxes. And my comic book collection grew well beyond uh, the measurements for that case, but I kept at least the first, um, I, yeah, but I did keep the first 12 in there uh, for the longest time, and now that I'm selling my comics, those boxes are actually my graphic novels, and I'm selling my comic book collection. So, if you're interested, you want to see what I got, message me, and we'll try to work something out. Uh, but on to the projects. The next thing, the next piece that my dad made, which I picked up yesterday, and I think I was completely out of frame for that. The other piece that I picked up yesterday is this lovely contraption, which is what's, I'm sure most of you have heard of a Lazy Susan, which is, you know, the, typically the round, but dad made it square because I'm not using it for the standard uses. But as you can see, it spins quite well on its own. And I have, I, I have some ideas uh, for future videos that I want to use that for. I need to rig it up because, see, I could, you know, put the apple box on top of it. And then we'd have something on top of the apple box and be able to spin it around as, as you can see here. Uh, and then the third piece that I have, I actually made myself. Um, which I, you may have seen in pictures, but I built a stabilizer rig for my cameras. And I haven't really had a chance to use it yet, but I'm hoping I get to very soon. You know, you just put the camera right like that, and it stabilizes the shot quite a bit. Because it's not as shaky as just, you know, the handheld. And, you know, the motion might get a little off. And you guys, you guys are probably a little dizzy after that, so. I apologize. But there you have it. Those are the things that I've uh, been working on recently. And my dad's helped me build. And I'm going to and I'm gonna continue to build some more stuff. And hopefully have some rigs and some things set up so that I can, you know, have more equipment to use for filming. So, there you go. Just figured to show those off. While I'm doing laundry, you can probably hear the washing machine going. So yeah, if you guys ever wondered how a uh, guy who only has the 50D and doesn't have the nifty flip out screen, or if you're just wondering how a guy can focus his shots when the camera's across the table from him, this is what I use to focus. Not a perfect solution, I know, but it works. Oh crap. Then I get my tie on the burrito. Good thing I'm not eating anything more liquid. Because that would have sucked. Okay. Tentative bite to make sure I'm not going to burn myself because the first time I ate one of these, burned my tongue so bad. It's really, it's just healing up now. That seems perfectly safe. What could possibly go wrong? And filming is done, except for like the opening and closing bits, um, which I'll film tomorrow. Uh, I'll tell you one thing, I'm glad this thing doesn't have music because I seem to be getting hit with copyright claims left and right. It's, I swear, it's like I'm wearing a copyright kick me sign. <sighs> but, anyway, I'm going to not dwell on that anymore because I know you guys are probably tired of me talking about it. Um, tonight, the video that I was shooting tonight is actually one that I've been working on, at least in my head, for a long time. Came up with it. I had the idea for this a year ago. Was it a year? Yes, it was a year ago. Okay. 
<laughs> I had to think. Uh, well, a little less than a year ago. Um, it was July of last year that I came up with the idea, and it's taken me this long to actually get to it. Uh, but, I'm, I, you know, I'm glad I'm waited. Glad I'm waited. But, you know, I'm glad I waited because I think with everything I've been doing, I think I'm finally kind of in the right, I don't say the right mindset, but like the right attitude to actually do it and do it well. Again, that's what I'm hoping. So I'm going to shoot the opening of the video and then my little end cap video that I always do tomorrow. And then this video will be ready on Wednesday. So, which is tomorrow for you. <laughs> but anyway, uh, that's going to be all for tonight. I'm going to mess around the internet a little more, see if I have any more subscribers from Wheezy Waiter putting me in his video. And then I'm going to go to bed because. Tomorrow I have to go around town, run a few errands. But anyway, uh, that's going to be all for me tonight. So I hope you're all well. And I will see you tomorrow.